Hi everyone, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today's topic, President Donald Trump is giving white people reparations. Yep, you heard me right, but is that right? So I did a little bit of digging and about a day or two ago, a journalist by the name of Keith Boykin put on X, formerly known as Twitter, that President Trump was giving white people reparations. Now, I admit that made me clutch my pearls at first. And if you follow my content, you know that I am not for reparations. And I've given my reasons multiple times online as far back as 10, 15 years ago. My opinion of that has not really changed, although in a recent video, I did say I would be okay with reparations in regards to black towns that were burned to the ground, you know, 100 years ago, lynch victims 100 years ago, you know, till now, um, redlining, things like that. I would be okay with reparations for that. But let's talk about this um, misconception that Trump is giving white people reparations. And of course, people ran with it. They were quick, fast, and in a hurry to insult black Trump supporters. See, that's what you see, O-O-N, S's get. Sellouts, Oreos, you know, y'all so stupid. That money's going right into Trump's pocket and all of that stuff. But that Keith Boykin who posted it on X, he just did like a little small sound bite, maybe like a minute worth. But you have to listen to the whole video. Donald Trump is not giving white people reparations, not in the way that you might be thinking. The video that I saw was Trump wanting to reset this current, reset the current society of wokeness. That's not, society is not the word that I wanted to use. It was a particular word that I wanted to use, but I can't think of it. So he wants to get rid of the radicalism of the left being taught to young people in schools and the Marxists and the communist ideologies that these schools are indoctrinating children with, not to mention the LGBTQIA movement as well. The left, and let's be honest, they are indoctrinating young people to the point of being so soft that they can't take constructive criticism anyway anymore. They're quick to fall apart. Y'all see um, when Trump won, all of the foolishness of these people falling apart. And I can promise you, if Harris had won, Shimmer Girl would not have fallen apart. I would have been like, okay, you know what? The public has spoken. She's our new president. Life goes on. But that is not happening with the other side. And of course, Joy Reid also jumped on this. Um, Donald Trump is giving white people reparations. And it's simply not true. But let me read an excerpt from his video. And I will post the video in the description box. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. But again, you have to watch the video from the beginning to the end because people took the last part, which is, let me see if I can see it, because he said something about retribution, but he's not talking about, again, reparations. Oh, and that's something else. You all remember, and I did a video on this, soon as Trump won, Texts went out to random black people about you finna go back to the cotton field and pick cotton. And now we have white people about to get reparations knowing that there is a segment of the black community asking for reparations. 
So you have people, the, the liberal media, they love this because it's causing division. It's already, we're already divided because the black people who vote Democrat can't see the black people who vote the conservative side. And we have, as conservatives, we can't see the democratic side. We don't understand why you can't, you know, see that the Democrats own the media and they spin narratives that they want you to hear. And if you never go over to the conservative side to, to get a different point of view, hearing something like this is going to make you want to, again, laugh at the black people who voted for Trump and just run with this, you know, like, see, see, he told you. And here's the thing. When I saw this earlier, I was at work, you know, so now I'm finally able to, you know, come home and discuss this. When I saw this without seeing his video first, the full video, I was thinking to myself, I still either would have voted for him or the couch, but Harris was not going to get my vote. And again, if you follow my content, I've already given you multiple reasons why she would not get my vote. And as I've also said, if you are a black conservative, you already know why we vote the way we vote. If you are a black Democrat, no matter what we tell you, it's not going to compute. So it's just a waste of time at this point. And I'm just talking because this is a current event. So if you don't understand that I'm a content creator and you're getting triggered and you don't know how to have a mature discussion about it, you know, I sometimes have to put that disclaimer. I'm not going back and forth. I don't mind people disagreeing in a mature manner, but calling me out of my name, stuff like that. That's a no go for me. So I got this from the DonaldTrump.com website. And this is the actual transcript of the video. And let me start here. Okay. Our secret weapon will be the college accreditation system. It's called accreditation for a reason. The accreditors are supposed to ensure that schools are not ripping off students and taxpayers, but they have failed totally. When I return to the White House, I will fire the radical left accreditors that have allowed our colleges to become dominated by Marxist maniacs and lunatics. And here's the thing. Obviously, if you are a far left person, then you're not going to agree with him, you know, and, you know, so I'll just leave it at that. We will then accept applications for new accreditors who will impose real standards on colleges once again, once and for all. These standards will include defending the American tradition. What's wrong with that? What exactly is wrong with that? And Western civilization. Again, what is wrong with that? Protecting free speech. Hello, what's wrong with that? You know, we want to be able to have free speech, can you? Eliminating wasteful administrative positions that drive up costs incredibly. Removing all Marxist diversity, equity, and inclusion bureaucrats. Offering options for accelerated and low-cost degrees. Providing meaningful job placement and career services and implementing college interest, entrance and exits, I'm sorry y'all, and exit exams to prove that students are actually learning and getting their money's worth. And I'm going to skip over a little bit and um, read the last paragraph. A portion of the seized funds will then be used as restitution. That's where people got the reparations from. For victims of these illegal and unjust policies. Policies that hurt our country so badly. Colleges have gotten hundreds of billions of dollars from hardworking taxpayers 
And now we are going to get this anti-American insanity out of our institutions once and for all. We are going to have real education in America. Thank you. So um, to me, I don't see where he's talking about reparations to white people. Not the way that people online was trying to make it, you know, like um, off the backs of black people who a lot of people say black people built this country and this, that and the other. And yes, our ancestors went through some blood, sweat and tears. But the way I see this, and it's not a popular opinion, there is someone who wants to keep black people forever looking backwards and not forward. You can't improve in life and go forward in life if you're con constantly looking behind you. To look behind you, to never forget what our ancestors went through. Do you know our ancestors, and I think that I can speak for them, we have what they could only dream of having. And we are squandering it away in woe is me. That's but one reason why I can't do Democrat policies because they are forever making us out to be victims. And that that can't work for me. And this and I say this as a person who has been called the N word, who has dealt with racism. Sure enough. You know, but at some point we have to look forward. Doesn't mean that we don't you know, we, we do have to fight for certain things, you know, but I'm just tired of this. Woe is me. We're victims, you know, you know, getting us all riled up like we don't have freedoms in this country. People are dying to come here and we're here and we're not and we're still not happy about it. But, you know, I'm going off into unpopular opinion territory. It is what it is. I just wanted to chime in on this since people posted it on X and I wanted to look into it. I looked into it and I brought it to you. Tell me what you think and I will talk to you later. Bye.